It really is the definition of madness, isn't it, now? I think I'm doing the same thing over and over and over again. And today, it's, it's the same face again. It's just, I mean, but just why? We even played with the back four for the first time in, what, three, three and a half years? And we still didn't do anything in the first half. We had an extra man in midfield. We had an extra man up front that we normally do have. And it was still absolute turgid, boring nonsense in that first half. And it didn't even, it didn't really change, did it, until Neto came on? So yet again, we've given ourselves, what, 20 minutes to try and win a game? It's just absolute bollocks. Well then, Wolves fans, what a strange Monday evening that was. Did I dream that? Did I dream that I've done November and look this ridiculous as well? But no, yeah, Wolves four at the back. I am dumbfounded. A lot of things have dumbfounded me in that game. First of all, how Southampton didn't get a yellow card in that game is beyond me. Like, justice for Adama in that sense. It like, oh, anyway, right, we've got that over and done with. Let's talk about the game. Wolves went four at the back with Neves in that deeper role, allowing us to sort of, him to be more of an advanced Cody. So it wasn't too far from what we do, as in that the wingbacks were still bombing on and stuff like that. So it's not as dramatic as people were saying for at the start anyway, but then... That second half, we'll address... Yeah, we, did we concede in the first half? No, it was second, wasn't it? It was nil-nil at half-time as per. Um, Theo Walcott gets the goal and it's the two full-backs, I guess, today, not wing-backs. They're kind of at fault. You could argue Nori needs to be stronger, but for me, that's a foul. However, I can see in an unbiased opinion, like, if that was against Wolves, I'd want the goal to be given. So that's that. I guess he's been playing in a less physical league. He'll learn with stuff like that. But then again, gravity is gravity, isn't it? And balance is balance. And there's no way he could have really stayed up there. But Semedo is more at fault for that goal, in my opinion. I thought today, I'm not going to get emotive about it. I thought, no, this is benefit of the doubt. Things might be different. Obviously, there were. And you forgive a few defensive frailties, changing system, having no organisation at the back, no Cody, whatever. But that doesn't excuse not going forward. And yeah, we had, we had a few shots, but were they really... Now than chances. Jimenez seemed completely off the ball for large parts of the game and then the shot that hit the post that Neto scored from. And then he comes alive. I mean, what's all that about? It's just it's just baffling. And I think it's probably a good job that we still stuck at home watching this on Sky because things could have started getting nasty by now because it's getting out of control. Uh, the fight after that goal went in was brilliant. You don't normally see Wolves doing that and it's because we took plays forward. We had the dream of Neto, Pudence, Jimenez and Adama all on the pitch at the same time accommodated in sort of a 4-2-3-1 a which I think is going to suit Wolves a lot going forward. I've always thought that on career mode on FIFA. I'm a 4-2-3-1 guy myself with Wolves. So yeah, maybe... Um, I should get in as manager, who knows? But no, yeah, it was brilliant that second half. Jimenez showing great awareness to uh, draw a defender in, come out, shoot, and then luckily it fell to an onside Pedro Neto, which I didn't celebrate for. Um, I was convinced VR would ruin the day, but no. Brilliant goal, Neto, instant impact. And I think Pedence in behind the striker, Neto on the left, Adama on the right has real potential for when we need to mix it up in games. Five at the back, still a viable option. We still get results that way. It's just, there's no need for it anymore. We haven't got European football. We are, there's no need to be shackled like we are. It's ridiculous. It needs to change soon because we're slipping down that table. And what, top half? I said at the start of the season would be a decent result for us. Because there's so many bad teams in the Premier League, we might just about get there. But it's just not entertaining anymore, is it? It's just boring. And it's... Although we've drawn, I still see that as a positive and exciting game going forward. So, roll on Cody coming back, Sace coming back as well. It's looking good. Vitinha had a few little, you know, little messy like little dribble things. Second coming of Messi looks like in the under 21s with Portugal. I've rambled for two and a half minutes now, so I'm going to go. I'm quite excited, weirdly, from a draw at home. Explain that one. Cheers, guys. <laughs>